Yo dudes, this thing I have in my hand is a time machine of some sort because with it we are going to take a walk down memory lane. And by that I mean we are just gonna take a look at my past digital works when I was in school. So let's just head back to the computer and let's see what type of memories we can dig up in this here hard drive. Let's go! So we are going to look at this from my first year all the way through fifth year. So let's begin with the first year projects, okay? Here we have my first CAD projects. Right off the bat, this rendering is super bad. I think I had trouble back then putting materials on 3D faces with AutoCAD. So that's why I went with, with this brutalist look. It's a brutalism mixed with modernism mixed with deconstructivism. Those were three concepts in one and past Leon thought it was a good idea, which is not. So let's move on. So the instructor asked us to design a waiting shed. So apparently he thought that we weren't capable of designing any more complicated stuff. So yeah, a waiting shed, which is one of the most basic architectural structures you could ever design. So let's move on. Okay, so here's another 3D rendering. So if my memory serves me correctly, this was actually one of my 3D projects that actually came to life, which means this is a project that was actually built. So back in freshman year, we had Photoshop classes and this was one of the things that I decided to do with Photoshop was to turn myself into Neo. So yeah, my Photoshop skills back then was like MS Paint level. Okay, let's move on to my second year projects. So fun fact guys, you know that video we did last week where I uncovered a bunch of dirty old plates? This is probably like four years worth of dirt. Yeah, I caught the flu from that. I caught the flu real bad. My throat is real itchy and I need to have water at all times because it's itchy and dry. How is that even possible? There's like phlegm, but my throat is dry. Stupid phlegm. Let's move on to my second year projects. So there you go. I have no idea what kind of architectural style this is. I'm not even going to try to classify the architectural style of this one. If I was to give Past Leon some advice, I would tell him to stop putting watermarks on all of his renderings. Who the hell is gonna steal this stuff, man? It looks really bad. Watermarks. Here is the actual project. So it was actually built. Here it is during its construction phase. They opted for a gable hip roof combination instead of my proposed curvy roof. So yeah, that was my first taste of clientitis where the client changes the architect's design. Actually, I wasn't even an architect back then. I was just a draftsman that suggested the curvy roof, but the owner thought that that was too hard to do. So yeah, that's what happened. Let's move on. So here we have a redo of one of my works when I was in freshman year. So I rendered this using um, SketchUp or 3D Max. I think it was 3D Max. This is one of my first renders with 3D Max. So this is the past one rendered with AutoCAD and this is the one rendered with 3D Max. So while looking for my other digital works, I came across a bunch of pictures of the scale model I did back when I was in second year. So there, it's really bad. Also, apparently, I used a potato to take pictures of my scale model. That's why the resolution is just like 2 megapixels. So this was the old camera I used to take a photo of this. So that's why the quality looks like it was taken by a potato. So this is the potato I used to take this picture. That's my scale model. So I didn't have enough time to put doors and windows. It looks like a crack house, to be honest. So next. It's raining real bad, guys. Okay, let's move on to my third year projects. So here we have the Harrison project. As you guys could see, I improved a little bit in rendering. So this architectural style is what I call chop suey style because I just took a bunch of architectural styles and mixed it and it, it turned out real bad. Here we have my first attempt of doing a walkthrough. Cheesy music. Also crappy thunder. It actually looks like it was done by a 13-year-old teenage boy. Let's move on. You guys don't want to watch this. Here we have one of my inside lot projects. So when naming projects, I usually name them according to the lot where it is built. So this one was built in an inside lot. So if it was built on a corner lot, I would name the project Project Corner Lot. This was rendered using SketchUp and V-Ray. And I gotta say, Young Lian did improve quite a bit. So this is an interior scene. One of my first interior scenes that I ever rendered. And then here we have another scheme of that inside lot. So my design skills are also improving and I'm getting a little bit bolder with my color choices. So also my glass material right now is on point. Good job, Pastly. And apparently this was done when I was in second year. So yeah, the timeline's now all messed up, but you know, 
it still serves its purpose I guess so <clears throat> so this is one of our projects I did using SketchUp entitled knife lot because the lot was shaped like a knife here we go a longitudinal section so second year Leon did have some layouting skills but the font choice again is I wish I chose a more formal font than this so for those of you guys who are wondering what type of computer I used to render these decent 3D renderings um, this was my laptop back when I was in school so this was the laptop I used back when I was in second year all the way through fifth year to render some of those projects that I showed you. So this machine is an Acer Aspire 4750 series laptop which basically just has an i5. So looking closer it says i7 but actually that's just a sticker I put in this laptop to make it seem like my laptop was i7 but in reality it's just an i5 dual core laptop. So yeah, if I was able to render all those stuff with this laptop, then you guys can render anything with any existing laptop there is to date. Just don't buy those Intel Atom laptops. Those are, those are useless for architectural work. So just wanted to share what hardware I used to create those digital things. This is it. Okay, moving on to fourth year. So for my fourth year, I didn't really do that much 3D rendering. Here's one of my first attempts at doing a video. That's me acting back then. So for those of you guys asking what my hair looks like underneath this hat, here's what it looks like, guys. That's my good friend Clifford. I think we were trying to recreate something that happened with Lapu Lapu and the main concept was that we time traveled into the past. the hell the random <laughs> can even see a guy running out of frame okay so this is Magellan versus Lapu Lapu we oversimplified the battle of Maktan turned it into this boxing match Enough of that nonsense. Let's move on to some more architectural related works. Okay, here we have one of my specialization projects where we were asked to design an egg. So I went for Iron Man. Here we have another specialization project where they asked us to make a diorama of our bedroom. So this was my bedroom back then. It's very Filipino. I even have the cathode ray tube television. You know, those fat televisions. My computer was located right beside the bed and then I had a bunch of guitars. So yeah, let me just try to find the diorama if I could still find it and I'm gonna show you guys the diorama. Alright my dude, so this is the diorama I was talking about a while ago when I was back in the PC. So this is the diorama I did. There's a ton of reflections, but there you go. Basically, that is the diorama I did of my old bedroom. There you go, I even placed guitars and stuff inside and the bed. Actually, the bed cover is a sock. So, that's an old sock that I used as a bed cover. Because, you know, I couldn't find any cloth that my mother would allow me to cut up. So, I just used one of my socks. Disgusting! So, for those of you guys wondering what materials I used, in this diorama, I just basically used a bunch of illustration boards and then this here orange part, this is a PVC tile and I just stuck stickers on it and painted it with poster colors. Okay, there you go. That was my fourth year. And lastly, we have my fifth year. So this is one of my fifth year scale model projects for my thesis. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that I improved a little bit. My scale model back then was really bad because I was lazy and I actually procrastinated a lot and that's why that scale model didn't have any windows and doors. It looked like some sort of crack addict scale model ghost was living on it. Lesson learned guys, do not procrastinate and just start doing the things you have to do. And I guess that is it. I think all that's left to do is for me to show you some of my old photos. So for those of you who do not know, I used to have long hair, like really long hair, like this long. Yep, that's me. And that's me again with the long hair and the super angsty look. There you go. So if there's any lesson to be learned from this video right here, I guess it is that you guys should be patient and you should never procrastinate. So when I say be patient, do not get down on yourself just because your works are super crappy because eventually you guys are going to improve. So don't compare yourselves to your other classmates who are already good. 
because eventually you are going to catch up to them and then maybe you are going to surpass them with enough hard work. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below so that you guys could see more of my weird architectural videos that I post here on YouTube. Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace! Ah! <sighs>